So let's check this out. I have three different Guitar Hero guitars sitting here. I have two more for PlayStation 2. And of all of them, I find that these have the highest level of compatibility with especially with the whammy and the star power but who really wants to play with six fret i mean sometimes it's fun but most of the time i'd rather play with five fret have full compatibility with the windows 10 and not really have to worry about it a whole lot so with that in mind i've decided to buy two cheap guitars Paid like 30 or 40 bucks something like that um i'm going to because these bars are removable keep this one cut half of this one off and put half of this one onto here this modification will give me the ability to switch between five fret and six fret simply by switching out the fret bars Okay, so, um, you can use like a hacksaw or, um, I can't find my hacksaw, so I'm going to use this, um, do it outside, but just wanted to show how to measure up, I'm going to measure this up, because notice that bar on that Stratocaster is a little bit longer than the one on my Guitar Hero live guitar. It's a rock band guitar. Probably has something to do with it because this is the exact same length as my other two PlayStation 2 Guitar Hero controllers. So I think it's like a rock band thing. But, but because it's a little bit longer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide where am I going to, where am I going to start? Because this end's going to go into the guitar. So where am I going to start that transition at? And I want to see a little bit clearer the buttons, so I'm going to go north of these two buttons right here. Mark that real quick. Yeah, it's, pull. it's not perfect, I know. But I'm really just going to use the silver line as a guide anyway. And then for this, All I need to end up together. And wherever my line is here, that's where I'm going to put it down here. There. That's where I'll cut that end. And this should be the correct height. Or length, I mean. I went ahead and made my lines a little bit better. Make it easier for me to cut. So I went ahead and made the cut. So you see it's pretty good lengthwise. Now all these burrs on here, I'll have to file it down. I'm going to take the screws out of this on both of them, take it apart, and then I'm going to use hot melt glue to glue in some kind of like maybe a steel lattice or something on the inside to hold the two in together on both sides. And then that should give it enough reinforcement to hold it together. And I can put something over it and repaint the whole thing maybe. Yeah. Five fret guitar hero guitar. Well, five fret guitar hero life guitar. Coming soon. So, I have taken the liberty of taking all this apart. That's the bottom of the fret side. And the top. There are some screws here, so you gotta be careful when you pull it apart. 
and then on the side it's going to connect to the guitar bottom this is from the guitar here live guitar and so is this this is the top part that's where it's going to plug into the to this part right here and I'm going to splice these wires into these and so the buttons will work like I think on here they're like one, two, three, and then like four, five, six. So I'll be like, I'll wire it to one, two, three, four, five, and then six. I won't even wire it to anything. I'll just leave it hanging loose. Um, take it to work with me tomorrow and use some industrial hot melt at work to uh, glue this in. Although, what I'm going to do. We'll do the top part first because it's the only part see this is not really just laying flush with it because they're two different heights and there's just not just a gap so do this in first get this in flush that in if it's got a gap it's okay push down the table. I'll push down the table and then put something, some kind of steel lattice over this or something to hold it in place. Push it down, put some industrial hot melt on it. It won't move. And then I'll see how I fit the top part on there and then do the same thing with it. And then connect these wires together and we'll have it done. Maybe paint it or something, but I'll be all set pretty much. Kind of gives you a good idea how it's going to look right there. I went ahead and I took the part of the guitar apart that I'm not using. I'm not going to use this. But I did it for a reason. Look very closely here. It shows it wires up A, B, Y, X, and L, B. small tiny print there got the limbo those wires labeled over here I don't know which wires are going to be which but I can approximate from it has it on this board for this one so I know so I can match them I don't know how good you can see them, but and on one of them it says R1 and L1, and on the other one it says LB. LB and L1 are the same thing. It just means left bumper versus the L1 button on the controller, which is the left bumper. Um, R1 is the only one that's not is the one that's not used, so we're gonna leave that one hanging, and then the rest of them should connect into wires on the other one. And we should be straight on that. So I managed to get it fixed today. Using industrial hot melt glue and some some metal to uh, reinforce it. See, it don't matter what I do. It ain't, it ain't gonna come apart. Go ahead and get the wiring spliced together and uh, Okay, so I got my wires connected together. I went ahead and twisted them together and then used my soldering iron and my solder to fuse the wires together. And I promise you, this ain't coming apart. Now I'm going to wrap them in electrical tape to insulate them from one another.
and so for my guitar here, a live guitar to work, I'm gonna need a dongle, and it has to be for the Xbox 360, as you can see on here. For Xbox 360, fine print right there. Because mine originally, it don't have that little green button right there. Mine originally was for Xbox One, and I believe it's black or white on the end. I'm not sure which. And believe it or not, on Xbox One, it will not work on the Windows 10 PC. You have to have the Xbox 360 dongle. And you can use different versions of the dongle on the same guitar. So I still got the same guitar. I come with the Xbox One dongle. I sold that on eBay. I bought this one on eBay and I've been straight ever since. Now I'm going to see if I can get this 5 fret going. Alright, here it is folks. Sturdy. I can do that with it. Oh yeah, this thing's going to be bueno. Alright, let's play it. Okay, so I'm not able to get the guitar to sync up with the computer. I went ahead and pulled up Device Manager. And as you can see on Guitar Hero, it appears I do not have any drivers installed. So I'm going to right click on that, hit Update Driver. And I'm going to browse manually. There we go, Xbox 360 peripherals. Xbox 360 controller for Windows, because it is an Xbox 360 controller adapter after all. Don't care. I think I don't have any other drivers to try. It's my only shot. Okay, now if you noticed, I'm gonna go back to that. It says Xbox 360 controller for Windows now. So now we're gonna test it out. Alright, so I'm loaded up in Guitar Hero World Tour Definitive Edition. It's a very nice mod, by the way. So after getting all the buttons on my guitar controller configured, I was able to go in and finally test the guitar out. Spoiler alert, I suck at this game. You've been warned. <laughs>
well, there you go, folks. Good way to build you a good compatible guitar in a pinch. If you don't mind sacrificing two others in the process. This is One P Config signing off.